God bless you. God bless you. Welcome, welcome to the 7,000 Club with yours truly, Bishop Earl Carter. Now I'm on a little earlier, and uh, possibly at 7 or a few minutes after 7, I'm going to be dealing with the legacy of leprosy. It comes down to Charles Blake, and it was reported to me various things that we're going to deal with. But I had to get on early because do you not know this Larry Miles in Virginia, who's nobody, and uh, you remember Bishop Ted, God bless you, Pastor David Wright, God bless you. You remember Dave Wright, I'm sorry, Dave Wright. We don't get you mixed up with David. All right. Uh, this thing is getting to be, God bless you, Tremaine uh, Mayhew. God bless you. All right. Uh, you know, people start fights and they don't even know how to fight. It's just pitiful. God bless you, Pastor Patrick. All right. Azanza. All right, Vince Taylor show. God bless you, Lynette. And, uh, well, 2017 and Ofer, Neely. God bless you. All right. Now, listen, what's going on is that, like I said, people start fights and they don't know how to fight. Uh, Pamela, God bless you. Uh... This guy, Larry Miles, who started this fight between me and him because he lied on me and associated me with Bobby Beatty, who's a known for proflagrant, I mean uh, salient, most prominent sissy who was a choir director back in the 70s and 80s and... Uh, Never, never, anybody know me, especially in the Church of God in Christ, they know me that I would never hang around sissies, especially choir members, come on. And if I was one that is a sissy, all right, thank you. If I'm a sissy, why would I infuriate sissies if I'm one and uh, that would uh, bring their wrath on me. Because even sissies don't like hypocrites. Come on. That's why Charles Blake can't say nothing. Because they would get him. Just like uh, uh, Eddie Long. When he came out against the sissies, oh, they got him. But these people are lying. Now, this Larry Miles trying to get some brownie points with Charletta Edwina to say that he's going to take Earl Carter down. <laughs> it's a joke. Oh, my goodness. God bless you, Donald Robertson. All right? Praise the name of the Lord. Now, my title tonight, my title tonight, see, it was reported to me. Larry, you stupid. You don't know who you're talking to. I got spies everywhere. And uh, it was reported to me that Larry Miles, Ted Tina Thompson, Thomas, Ted Tina Thomas, you remember I talked about Ted Tina Thomas? He is a board member, all right? He's a board member, Church of God in Christ, board member. His wife doing a rainstorm gathered up all his suits and threw them in the rain. That is, in the water. And his wife said, after all these years, you still a sissy. Now, if anybody call you a sissy, if your wife, now I don't mind if anybody out there would call me a sissy, but when it comes down to my wife, who knows you better than your wife? So he's angry. Then you have Lemuel Williams, uh, him and 
uh, Miles, they were conspiring against Bishop Daniel, who's 90 years old. 90 years old. Hallelujah. That's right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. They're, they're 90 years old. I mean, he's 90 years old. They're waiting for him to die. And it got out. And the saints have turned their backs on these hypocrites, these liars who are in the church to try to be rich. So, Miles, Lemuel Williams, and uh, <laughs> Bishop Ted Tina Thomas, rolling down the river. They are now supposed to be Kojic hit men. Kojic hit men. They got a hit out on me. It was reported to me that they have conspired. All right, to take Earl Carter down. That means they have a hit out on me. What? I didn't know I was that dangerous to them. I guess I'm just as dangerous as raid is to roaches. When you start spraying, oh my God, that's right. The blood of Jesus covers me, Eric. I know that, that's right, but I'm saying it has gotten to the point where they are so afraid of Earl Carter that they're willing to put out a hit on him. So that means I'm going to have to talk to those 32 angels and one of them named Murder. And these people do not play. All right? And uh, like I said, I love the fight. So, hey, bring your, your change of clothes and... Uh, <laughs> What I say, bring bring your chains of clothes, all right, because we're going to be here a while, all right? And so uh, I just wanted everybody to know, uh huh, that's right, the sisters go to running. And uh, there is a guy, that's right, bring your lunch, that's it, Lynette, bring your lunch and a chains of clothes. Because we're going to be here a while. I want everybody to send this video everywhere. That Kojic now has a hit on Earl Carter. They want me to be taken down. So Lemuel Williams, Ted Tina Thomas, rolling down the river. His suit's rolling down the river with him. And this adjutant, agitator, let me say this, he got mad because it was reported to me that he is a Greyhound bus station pervert sissy. I'm going to say it again. He is a Greyhound bus station sissy. And it was reported and it He's been exposed. So now they're so upset they don't know what to do. But I, 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 you know, I'm just beginning. And the whole thing is that God raises up an Elijah. And when Elijah got bad news from Jezebel, he ran. But not this one. No, I, I haven't heard no bell yet. And we're just getting started. I want everybody to stay tuned because I'm going to deal with the legacy of leprosy and I'm going to dedicate this to Blake's grandchildren. And I'm going to give you scripture to back up what I'm saying. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I told everybody I haven't gotten through and I'm going to get, I'm going to get worse. And here's what God says. God says, told Jeremiah, oh, I feel the Holy Spirit right now. Told Jeremiah, I want you to prophesy against the king. Prophesy against the priests and prophesy against the people. 
So I'm to prophesy against those that's in authority, leaders, whether it be governmental leaders, whether it be uh, spiritual leaders like Charles Blake or even like uh, this president we have that lies so bad. Oh, yes, we bring about correction. And then when you have hypocrites in the church, Charles Blake is a hypocrite. For Zion's sake, nobody's safe. Prophesy against people like Charles Blake and, and Jerry Macklin and Brooks, who's still a crook, and this Larry Miles, who is an agitator, and he's a Greyhound bus sissy going to the Greyhound bus to pick up dates. Man, you could have AIDS. You could have HIV. You, if I was your wife, I wouldn't bother with you. Touch me not. <laughs> oh, my mercy. So y'all in trouble. And uh, I'm going to keep hitting you, man. And the saints believe me. I have more that's for me than they that are against me. That's right. He's riding a bus straight to hell, a Greyhound bus. All right? A Greyhound bus, sissy, going straight to hell by the way of the Greyhound bus. He's a sissy. All right? So I'm saying, you know, hey, don't try to hide. I invited you to come on down. And since you're such a man, you know, you and Lemio, whoever you are, I remember you. You're a wimp. You are one of those, uh, let's say, adjutants. Nobody respects you. And he's stupid. I mean, you know, people know where your church is, and yeah, he got a one-way ticket to hell. Boy, 7,000 Club, you all or something. Now, some people don't like what I'm doing, but you know what? I don't care. They wanted to take me down. And if the Church of God in Christ, all of the leadership of the Church of God in Christ and the Church of God in Christ, period, they wanted me to be gone by now. Yeah, they wanted to kill Earl Carter. Because I'm saying so many things, and but they're true. Everything I'm saying is the truth. Ah, my God. That's right, they want to dance in those tight pants. They, they're upset with me. There's a guy, his name is Eric. Well, he's, he's a, uh, he is a, a drag queen. And he has a, a uh, show or a play that's titled One Woman Play. And you know what? His, his name is Eric Pollard. P-O-L-L-A-R-D. Eric E-R-I-K. Eric Pollard. He has a show, and you know what? He that's it, that's it. No, it's uh, E R I K. All right, Eric. Now, he has a show. One woman show or play, and on this particular clip that somebody sent me, I think Vanessa. She sent it to me, and he's mocking me, the 2014 message. And while, while he's advertising, he's, he's going down the stairs with this flowing white dress. And I'm in the background. My message from 2014, he's playing it in the background that, uh, you know what I said, uh, that you sissies walking around acting like girls and you need deliverance. And, and I said to the preachers, God is going to get you and all that. And while he's flowing, and he called himself mocking the message, but he's mocking God. 
And God laughs at these kind of people because he know the date that they're going to die. It's an appointed time for him to die. God laughing at him. And you're going to have to meet God, Eric Pollock. All right? You're going to have to meet God. And your fight is not, I want to say to the gay community, you, you got one big problem, and that is the God of the Bible. That's your problem. Yes, not Erica, Eric, Eric. Uh, E-R-I-K, Eric, Eric. That's how he spells his name. B P, I'm sorry. P O L L A R D. And you look him up and you'll find where he's uh-huh. I know. All right, God bless you. You'll find where he's just flowing with his white dress, and I'm preaching in the background. All right? Uh-huh. Yeah, God gonna have the last laugh. That's right. My God. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. So I just wanted to say that tonight, and I'm going to give myself a few more minutes, and I'm coming back with a very serious leprosy legacy, Charles Blake, and dealing with his grandchildren. So this is going to be up forever. That's what you get when you fool with God and disobey his word. God bless you. See you in a few minutes. The wicked, oh, that's right, strutting. That's right, the wicked struts. That's, that's good for uh, Eric. The wicked struts. See, you strutting down the stairs, but you're going to strut yourself straight into hell. All right? And God's going to laugh at your calamity. I think that's Proverbs 27. All right, saints, see you in a few minutes, Thumas, that's Thumas, not Fumas, Thumas is coming. Praise the name of the Lord. Uh-huh. Praise God. T-H-U-S. Thumas. All right. Uh, let me see here. Uh, T-H-U-M-O-S. Thumas. Thumas is coming. All right. That means judgment is already here. God bless you, and I'll see you in a few minutes. Bye-bye.